around you this morning are people at Family Church and churches like ours who've had the chains broken off of them. The chains of addiction and the chains of depression and the chains of regret and the chains of shame and the chains of emptiness broken off of them. That's what Jesus does. There's a guy named Robert. He attends our church. God's changed his life. He's even going to become one of our pastors at Family Church. I want you to hear his story. Let's watch this video and then we'll conclude our service. My name is Robert Harry and this is my story. In all my years growing up, I felt blindsided and lost in the days of confusion and depression. I grew up without a dad. It haunted me and made me doubt that anything good could come from life or from God. As a child, I loved school. I even wanted to become a teacher. I remember going to church all the time with my grandma, but I really didn't take away much from that. As I got older, I wanted to become a part of the cool crowd, and I got attention by being the class clown. In high school, I started experimenting with drugs. At first, my love for sports was more important, but then the drugs took over. I had an opportunity to play college football at Seton Hill University, but lost it because of drug use. I was the party king. I started off with the lighter drugs and graduated into the heavier drugs. For five years, I was lost in a downward spiral of depression and drug use, and it kept getting worse and worse. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles, if you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies, if you try to fill the same old holes inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. My best friend came to Florida, had gotten clean, and started living a new life. He called me and tried to get me to see that there is a better life. Three days later, I was robbed at gunpoint and shot in the leg. I drove myself to the hospital and collapsed as soon as I got out of the car. They took me in and on that hospital bed, I cried out to Jesus, asking him to help me because this just can't be who I really am. I called my friend back and he found a way for me to come to Florida and get help. At that treatment center, I had a spiritual awakening. With the help of the people around me, I learned to rely on Jesus as my savior and found strength to repent and begin a new life. After treatment, I started attending church and was baptized. Now I'm a part of a new family with the best dad that anyone could ask for. I have a new best friend in Jesus Christ and my breath of wind in the Holy Spirit. God took a defeated life and resurrected it. like I was, I helped them get clean, come to faith, and I even got to baptize them. I used to speak words of death. Now I speak words of hope and life. I'm in the Family Church Residency Program now, studying to be a pastor. God is also using me to start recovery Bible studies in different halfway houses so others can find a better life in Jesus. Maybe your story isn't like mine, but you're in need of a new life or a new start. Jesus can do that for you. God raised him up from the dead, and he can raise you up too. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a pain maker. If you need freedom, I'll save him. He's a prison savior, savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker.
That's what happened to Matthew. He wrote us this account, what he came to believe about Jesus, and Matthew had his chains fall off because he had faith in Jesus Christ. That's what happened to George, my father-in-law, eating up with all that bitterness and all that shame. He had his chains fall off because of his faith in Jesus Christ. What's happened to Robert? It's what's happened to me. It's what's happened to many people in the room, but it could happen for you. So don't you think it's time for you to stop resisting and stop pushing back? Isn't it time for you to lean in to Jesus, the one crucified and raised from the dead? Isn't it time for you to stop straddling the fence and go ahead and take that step and cross over? Make this your day. Make this Easter your day to become a believer in Jesus. To come out of the dark, come into the light. And that sound you hear, that's the sound of chains falling, of chains being broken by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what Jesus does. He breaks the chains that bind our souls.